tractor's on the front porch singing a familiar song. The tractor's in the barn and the pastor's freshly mown. Look in through the screen door, the aroma draws you in to the heart of the home where old memories begin. Cooking with her friends, sharing recipes together, stories and songs, making new memories the heart of the home. Hey y'all, welcome to Heart of the Home, Away From Home. I'm away from my home, but we're going to really, man, we're going to prove what Heart of the Home is about. It's about friends and food and fellowship. And we are at a wonderful farm in Cherokee County. This is the Turner Farm and um, every family farm, um, the Turner family. This is, is this a kitchen that we could all, as real estate agents, could we sell this kitchen? Oh, yes. 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 yes, yes, we could sell this. Heather, what do you want with this house? Let's <laughs> we'll sell this house. Let's not for sale. This is <laughs> such an amazing home and it's such an amazing family story. Recently, um, there was a tragedy in your family that turned out to be an amazing miracle because your son was involved in a horrible automobile accident, but he's great now. Everything's That's fine. He was on life support for a very short time, and everybody in the community was praying for him, and we learned quickly that prayers are answered. Yes, they are. Prayers are answered. And you're going to get to meet that young man in a little bit because he's going to be one of the kids sitting here eating today. <laughs> What a blessing. Um, your family is, is full of animals, and you've got a beautiful German shepherd that I love. She's yes, so pretty. Sweet. She's so yes. sweet. And um, every time we come out here, there's a beautiful sunset, and we're going to share those sunsets with our viewers today. This is just, it, it just feels warm and welcoming, and that's what a farm is supposed to be. Now, y'all have got cows, pigs, cows, pigs goats, goats, turkeys, chickens. Yeah. And are there any rabbits? One rabbit. One rabbit. One rabbit. How do you get one rabbit? Oh, I know how you get one rabbit. You don't have two rabbits. Yeah. I figured it out. This is such a beautiful, beautiful property, and it really started how many years ago? Six years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been here six years. Where did the dream come from? Did you always want to have a farm? Yes, my husband Steve always wanted a farm in Cherokee County. So. Mm -hmm. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Is there about 30 acres? Yeah. 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 No, about 30 acres. And it is just, it is perfect because it's in the Creekland Creek View School District, which is what everybody loves. And it's far enough out in town that you can go to town in 10 minutes without having to drive how far. You know, what did you say it was? Seven miles to get here? 742. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So from town. That's perfect. That's perfect. Now, when we showed up, the first thing that excited me is we went to her cabinets. You see this? This is like gold. <laughs> this is like in an antique collector's world. This is like gold. Yeah. I love this bowl. <laughs> And if my granddaughter's watching for Alaska, Tori, yes. If Heather were to pass on in 60 years, then maybe you'll inherit this. <laughs> and, and here's the piece that matches it. This is so cool. It's so neat to, to mix some antiques with new stuff in a farm home. And that's what makes it work. Now, this island, this is not your normal island. I understand y'all do ping pong on this island. Oh, yes, yes. It's yes. our ping pong table. It is big enough to play ping pong. Okay. So that is pretty, pretty cool. We do have ping pong championship. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really well, hard. one of the things that you have learned, having four children, a very demanding husband, because he's busy and you oh, work yes. side by side with him. Mm -hmm. You also have a job. And so in order to pre prepare a meal for these kids, you start early in the day and you put on a pot of soup in the crock pot and then That's you come so cool. home and we're going to make cornbread. Yeah. And we're going to make cornbread tonight that nobody around these parts has ever done this kind. But it is a Freddie Brackett special and it is crackling cornbread out of some weird cracklings. They're not really cracklings. They're the meat skins from the Dollar General. <laughs> and you buy them for about two dollars a bag, and when you look at it, you just but you just barely crunch them. And Evelyn, your job is to barely crunch, and Heather, your job is to grease that so it will not stick. Okay. That means a lot of grease. And my job is to do this right here, and it's going to be really hard to do this. And this is one of our tricks. Instead of adding an egg, I always add mayonnaise, and of course. 
out here in the country, if it ain't blue plate, you ain't going to come in the door at my house. That's I love right. blue plate. That's, That's good. That's good. And blue plate is one of those southern traditions. Um, you know, you can't even buy it in other places. I've gone on um, shoots and traveled, and we took blue plate mayonnaise with us. We also took Mayfield milk to Alaska. Mm. And that was crazy. I mean, I think the, air, the folks at the airport thought I'd lost my mind because I'm boarding in this cooler of blue plate milk and butter and Crisco and all this stuff. Now, you want to put about half of those in here? Let's see how it does. Just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. That's a word my granny used all the time, tiny. I always wondered how little tiny was. But mm -hmm. that's, that's good. Because yep. they will kind of disintegrate in Okay. About half. Let's try that. We'll stir them up. Can I try this? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And meat skins are fat free. Not that the cornbread's going to be fat free, mm -hmm. but meat skins are a fat free product. <laughs> so, that, yeah, that, that looks good. Work. Maybe a little bit more around the bottom. Yeah. This pan has a tendency as an old iron skillet. And for y'all who are watching who used to eat at my restaurant, the iron skillet, I love when you make comments and you tell me that you loved our fried chicken or you loved our peach cobbler because that's one of our favorites. And um, you've had my peach cobbler? Is it pretty The awesome? whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I had a blackberry cobbler yeah. one day and it was about this size and I called her and I said, come over here to the house and get this cobbler out of the house because blackberry is my weakness. Yeah. If I had kept the blackberry cobbler, my labs would not be turned out good because I'm really watching what I'm doing because my labs are a little bit crazy. So, but it was so funny. I called Evelyn and I said, get over here and get this blackberry cobbler. Yeah. Okay. We are going to slap this cornmeal in this big iron skillet. And again, this is an iron skillet I've had a long, long time. And it's one of those, don't wash your iron skillet, folks. You wipe them out. And you get a gun to anybody who threatens to wash your own skillet. You don't do it. Now, now Heather, you want to put that in the oven on the top shelf, and we will get that, and you'll put that in the sink, Miss Evelyn, in this one. Then we will start cleaning up for the next, the next thing we're going to do is something for the kids. This is for, do y'all, would you rather have soup or would you rather have Mexican food? What's your soup and cornbread? Soup and cornbread. Is it? Yes, exactly. That's the way it goes. A lot of families have to do two meals because the kids are like, I don't like vegetables. I don't like this. We're going to do two recipes that I think the kids are going to really, really like. And it is, um, one of them is called high test chicken. And it's a little bit hot and a little bit spicy. You might not like it. I love it. <laughs> and then the other, one Pretty is, the other one is just a Tex-Mex casserole that I've been making for years and years and years. And I used to make it for my employees and they fell in love with it. So we're going to take a commercial break. And when we come back, we're going to uh, jerk it up just a notch. It's going to be like going in fourth gear with a high-speed engine. And we are going to make high-test chicken. We'll be back shortly. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Hey y'all, we are back. Commercial break. Please remember our sponsors and please remember to visit any of the businesses in Ball Ground like Laura Mays. Could we recommend Laura Mays? Could we recommend Laura Mays? Of course we could recommend yes. Laura Mays. We want you to go to Laura Mays. We want you to eat. We want you to eat often and we want you to come yeah, to the restaurants. Ball Ground is just a fantastic place to just hang out. So we are so fortunate. We're just about seven and a half miles outside Ball Ground at a beautiful farm. And we are preparing the meal for four kids and mom and dad and um, country cooking for dad, mm -hmm. cornbread and vegetable beef soup. And then we get to what the kids are going to eat. And the kids are going to eat, this is homemade salsa that my wonderful daughter Dawn makes. And we're going to use a little bit hot because we're going to tone it down with mild. So we're going to put just a tiny bit of hot on there and then we're going to tone it down. 
And this is something I've been making for years. You start with ground chuck on sale at Ingalls. You have to make sure it's on sale. Oh, if yeah. you're feeding four kids, don't go in there and pay regular prices. <laughs> right, Evelyn? That's yes. right. You buy what's on sale. Yeah. So when the kids say what's for supper, well, I hadn't looked at the magazine to see what's on sale yet. So that's it. But again, this is homemade salsa. Now, do y'all have a garden? Yes. And do you can? A little bit. Yeah. Well, I tell you, canning is going to be the saving grace this year because with fuel prices and with the craziness in the world, we're going to have to do everything we possibly can to feed That's our families. Right. Yeah. What's your grocery bill done lately? Oh, my goodness. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I know you yeah. shopped. Yeah. yeah, you were shopping yeah, the other day, and I thought, oh, my gosh, she's been to the back bar many. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been $190. Yes. Now, now, do you want to put some <laughs> sour cream on top of that? Okay. This is, first of all, we did our ground chuck, and it had taco seasoning and garlic and salt and pepper. And now we're going to just do a thin layer of sour cream. It just gives it a little creamy. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, 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 yum. And this is something, we're going to do it, we're going to serve it as a big sandwich. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep, and this Evelyn is going to be slicing and dicing our lettuce, getting ready, because we're going to make a, basically we're making a huge taco salad. Or you can leave some of it in the container and people can use it as a dip because a lot of people just want to dip it with chips and so that ought to be good too. Yeah, so good. Yeah, that it smell good? It really does. Yum. And it was, you know, it's a simple dish that you could prepare this before you go to work and then come home and throw it in the oven so it's ready to go in, you know, 20, 25 minutes. There you go, young lady. Have you got a little restaurant experience? No. Never. <laughs> Your daughter goes to the restaurant. That doesn't she? She comes home and tells you what she's doing. There you go. That's perfect. Now we're going to put some Velveeta cheese on it. And there you go with that. And we're going to coat it, coat it, coat it, coat it, coat it. And it's going to all melt together and be yummy and runny and just really, really good stuff. And again, this is something that I think the kids will like. And Steve might like it too, because I understand y'all eat at one of our great Mexican restaurants yes, a lot. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so there you go. Well, the new one is open. Yeah, we've got open. one coming in, into Bob Brown now. And now we're going to put the mozzarella and some sharp cheddar on top of it. And I'm going to do something on the edges. Just on the edges, because I might be addicted to these sweet jalapenos. So we'll just warn everybody, stay away from the edges because I'm going to put just a few around the edges. This is a sweet, sweet jalapeno called Hot Shot. And it is so yummy. Let me get a fork. Can I slide that here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it's one of those things, I found it by accident and now I might be a bit addicted to it. But it's just a tiny bit of heat. And I'll just put it around both ends. And so whoever wants to get a jalapeno can get one. But they're just yummy. And they're sweet. They're sweet. I use it on sandwiches. I use it in my salads. And it's 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 a Ingalls product. And it's called Hot Shot. And it is a hot shot. It is hot. <laughs> <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. Okay, how simple was that? How simple was that? This is the finished product, and it literally will be ready in about 20, 25 minutes. We're going to turn the oven down after we get the cornbread out. And while we're doing our next commercial break, we're going to make something called high-test chicken. And I think that lettuce looks so good. Could you put a few tomatoes around on it? Just, just sprinkle a few on there, add a little bit of color to it. Presentation is so important with a meal, and I was sharing with you, even if I'm serving sandwiches, I use my pretty china. Mm -hmm. I love to use old dishes, and that is really, really cool. And this, this, we're going to be serving soup. These remind me of Mama's old restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's something if you grow up in the restaurant industry, you remember. And that's what these bowls look like. So we're going to grab the cornbread out on our next segment, and we're going to make something called high-test chicken. It's pretty healthy. It's not too, too fattening, and you can serve it like this either on a bed of lettuce or you can just sit there and eat it and then maybe make some coleslaw on the side. But just something simple, something easy, and something that anybody can do. So I hope you're writing down these recipes and you're paying attention because this is a family meal and it truly was on a budget. We'll give you that information when we come back in just a minute. 
Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ. How may I serve you? Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece, or just making memories, writing a great American novel, or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, Whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. Hi, y'all. I'm glad you're back with us. Heather, the house is beginning to smell a little bit southern and a little bit like south of the border. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the career was a little bit farther south of the border than anything yeah. I can imagine. Evelyn, is there anything we could cook simple and easy of Peruvian food that you could teach us? Yeah. Well, we need to do that one, John. We need to do that. That would be so cool because you keep telling me about Peruvian food. Oh, it's delicious. I've never tasted it. And I just, you know, yeah, but something different. Something different. And we all learn from each other. I learned today that if we would go out here and slop the hogs, it wouldn't be a pretty sight. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, so we're not going to go slop the hogs. No, <laughs> not today. But you did get some great pictures of the animals on the farm. Yeah, I did. And, you know, raising kids here, do your kids volunteer to feed the animals, or do you have to say, okay, guys, it's time? Sometimes. 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 Well, that's the right first and then gets old real quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, when you said you had one rabbit, I got cracked up because my daughter had two rabbits and ended up with like 60 rabbits. And I'm like, what in the world were you thinking? She said, I wasn't thinking. I'm a city slicker that moved to the country. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. said, uh-oh. Okay, today, y'all, we're going to end with a really cool pie in a few minutes, but we're gonna make a, a really cool recipe now that's really hot. It's simple, this is chicken. I bought the whole chicken at Ingalls today, the, what do you call this, oven roasted, yeah, oven roasted, roasted chicken. chicken. Yeah. Took it off the bone, and then we're gonna add cream cheese, because there's something about cream cheese. Growing up in Atlanta and living near a Jewish deli that had cream cheese and bagels, I kinda got used to eating that. So I think cream cheese is supposed to go on everything. And then we're going to add some salsa. And then, and this again is homemade salsa from Tomatoes Road in Pickens County. And my daughter Dawn does this every year and she sells the Dickens out of it and she ships it everywhere. People will pay shipping for it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? That's crazy. But again, this is homegrown, homemade and um, just a little something extra. Now I'm gonna put a little bit, this pimento cheese has jalapenos in it. So there we go, that's why we call it high test chicken. This has a little bit of kick to it and a little bit of spice. And this is gonna be so creamy. And again, you can use this as a dip or you can use it to make a salad out of Evelyn's beautiful salad. Yeah. Either that <laughs> lettuce is really, really pretty. That's really pretty lettuce, so it looks great. She good job. She did a good job. Now, Miss Heather, if you will come behind me and put us some sour cream in this. Are you remembering the layers? Do you know what all's in this? Yeah. All right. Can you go yes, home and do this now? Yeah, I think of so. course you can. Easy. Yes, it is simple. Simple, southern, and scrumptious, but now it's simple, not so southern, <laughs> and scrumptious. So, yeah. yeah it and... I'm telling you, sour cream and cream cheese together, that's that's pretty legal everything combination. Everything cheese is good. Yeah. Yeah. Everything <laughs> cheese is good. Everything that you add cheese is Everything delicious. cheese is good. And yeah. again, this started, I could have baked a chicken, I could have boiled a chicken, I could have done all that, but I walked into Eagles and they sell those roasted chickens. And it's just fantastic to just pick up the chicken and not have to do any work. Heather, when you get home from work, do you have a certain time you try to have a meal on the table or do you just do it as you can? I was a camp at 6.30. It's, it's your time. thing. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. I'm with you. I'm with you. More cheese. No, no. More <laughs> cheese, mozzarella, and sharp cheddar. And we're going to throw this in the oven, and it's going to take probably 15, 15, 20 minutes. And at that time, we are going to bring out two really simple dishes. The first one is just a Tex-Mex casserole. 
And it truly is, um, I walked in today and after I promised we would do this, I said, oh no, if ground chuck's not on sale, what am I going to do? It was on sale. <laughs> it was on sale. So thank goodness. But these are two simple recipes that your kids, your family, you can eat leftovers. Mm -hmm. They heat up well, you know, just throw it in the microwave and you can do it with the chips or you can do it as a salad. I really like it with the lettuce to, to cool the hot of this. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to add a few. And I understand your husband does like jalapenos. Oh, he loves them. He likes jalapenos. I mean, yeah. here, I'll use this one. That looks good. So we're going to add a few jalapenos to the top of this. And for anybody who doesn't like jalapenos, you just kick them out of the way. But this is called high test chicken. And these are hot shots. And they truly, it's a, it's a new item for me. I've been buying it for about a year at angles and i'm sure when they restock and they say that woman's been back because we're out of hot shots again because it's just a really good product we're going to throw this in the oven and we are going to get ready to bring out two fantastic dishes but while we're waiting on that we're going to put together a pie so we're going to take a break right now and go to a song by angel spirit i want y'all to remember selena hails in your prayers She's battling cancer right now, and she is um, she's determined. She is happy. She is trying to get through this, and she is smiling all the time. And I think we all need to pray for her. And I'm wearing my bracelet that says pancreatic cancer awareness. Be aware of your body and be aware when things change. It's so very, very important, isn't it? Yeah. Your mom it's just recovered cancer. from cancer. Yep. So we know that cancer can be beaten, and we're going to all pray that Selena makes it. So we're going to go to a song now by Angel Spirit. We'll be back in just a minute. We're going to make a really simple pie. vegetable beef mm -hmm. soup. Yeah. Now we have crackling cornbread, Freddie Brackett style, not the normal crackling cornbread, but it looks pretty amazing. Okay. And then Miss Evelyn is in charge of anything with a Spanish accent. <laughs> Does this food have a Spanish accent? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Mexican. <laughs> we, got it. we got it. We got a wonderful dish here. It's a Tex-Mex casserole. We're going to do that. And Sherry's part 
was the hardest. Look at that. Do you see that pie? That's delicious. This is a lemon pie, and you happen to have made these strawberry preserves. Now, tell me a little bit about the boys in FHA. FFA. So, they have a fundraiser every year selling strawberries mm -hmm. that they raise. I think they raise them at Edelwell High School. Uh -huh. And um, so, they sell them every year. Wow. Gosh, I bought, I think, two huge trays. Oh, wow. And, and so what time of year do they sell them? They just sold them. Just, okay. Just a couple of weeks ago, they, they came in. Uh-huh. Anyway, so we made preserves. And they look fantastic. And this so, pie needed a little dressing up. And thank you to Uncle John Tinsley for making me this pie. Y'all see, I got the hard part today. I get to serve the dessert, but I didn't have to do anything to make it because Uncle John made it for me, which is pretty cool. He's 86 years old and he loves to cook, or 84 years old, and he loves to cook. So anytime you can get a man in the kitchen, get him in the kitchen. <laughs> get him in the kitchen. He's, he's such a cool dude. And he loves the Bible. He loves cooking. And he loves doing things for others. So thank you, Uncle John, for this wonderful pie. Now, Heather, do you want us to do a shout out to the kids on your school bus? Oh, gosh. Hey, guys. Hey, you, at Free Home. you do a job that I could never, never do. And I've said a million times, I could never drive a school bus. Could you drive a school bus? Are you kidding me? You'd have kids choked out. <laughs> and when they get out. <laughs> yeah, I've always said driving is the easy part. Yeah, and yeah. dealing with the kids and making them happy and making sure that they get home safely. And in today's world, there's a lot of traffic. There it is. How many years have you been driving? Seven years. Seven wow. years. And did you start it because it worked with your kids' schedule? I did. I actually started out with special ed. Oh, that's and awesome. I love that. Yes. It worked yeah. good. My kids got to go with me. And yeah. Yeah. That's how I got started. Wow. Well, congratulations on doing it and a safe, a safe dri driving record. That's so mm -hmm. important. Yeah, that's so important. Well, guys, I hope that you've enjoyed this recipe. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to take one more thing out of the oven, and Evelyn's going to be dishing up. She's going to dish up the Tex-Mex casserole. I'm going to dish up the high-test chicken, and we're going to enjoy a good meal. We'll be back in just a minute. Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. Okay, guys, we are dishing it up. We are dishing it up and dishing it out. And Miss Evelyn has served me some lettuce, and we're going to give now, what's that young man's name? This is Brody. And Brody came over here to play guitar tonight. Is that right? Yes. And is he talented? Oh, yes. He's he cute is. as a bug. Yeah, he is. He's cute as a bug. And I yes. bet you he is the apple in his mama's eye. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what you reckon? <laughs> so, Miss Brody, here you go. There's your dish. There you go. All right, and then what would you like? Do you want it over lettuce or do you want it as a dip? Uh, I guess over. Over lettuce, okay. And again, this is a little, this is not so spicy. The high taste chicken is a little bit spicy, but this is just yummy, yummy, yummy. If you like tacos and if you like a little tiny bit of that taste that reminds you that you have had a little tiny bit of spice. Okay, girls, come over here. Come on, girls. Now, do y'all want it on lettuce or do you want it as a dip? I guess lettuce. Okay. Here's four. And this is hot, so yes. be careful. But it's really, it's it's a healthy meal that has a little bit of everything. <laughs> you know, it's got a little bit of um, protein. It's got some calcium. A little bit of everything. There you go. And I love these plates with the deer. This is oh, perfect. Your voice hunt. For you. Your yes. voice hunt a lot. Oh, they do. Now, do you want it on dip or do you want it on lettuce? I want lettuce. Okay. And Evelyn is sitting here starving to death. She's yeah. ready. I got <laughs> all day. Oh, man. You know, when we think about kids and school and, and budgets and balancing and, and providing a good meal, we figured this was about $30 to provide a meal, and I think it's going to feed about 10 of us, so that's mm -hmm. not bad at all. Not bad at all. 
And uh, again, thanks to Uncle John for contributing the pie. Yes. So there you go. Uh oh, I got some cheese hanging. <laughs> okay, I guess you are. Now, where is where is the head farmer of Turner Farm? Oh, Steve. where is Steve Turner? Steve Turner, would you please come in here? Steve, Steve, <laughs> I think we're calling. Somebody's calling your name. Okay, hit any more trees on with us. Yeah, you might. Okay, all right. And again, this is just a combination of all the things that make a really easy meal. Mr. Turner, would you please come in here? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. It's gonna take two seconds of your time. <laughs> well, darn it, he's being bashful on us tonight, but everybody who's ever passed this beautiful farm knows that it takes a lot of hard work to keep it going and yes. y'all do an amazing job you. you're doing it. a great job raising your children you. and and a shout out to everybody who's hard-working farmers in north georgia there's still a lot of people trying to make a living with cattle and with even goats people are making you buy soap don't you yeah. from the goat body yeah so, yeah yeah there are all kinds of people that are truly going back to their roots and farming and it's been a pleasure to be here with y'all at turner family farm hope that you will check out farming and you know get online and look and see what it would take to grow yourself a garden and to make these amazing strawberry preserves that Miss, Miss Heather made. Yeah, that's the awesome, <laughs> awesome. Y'all, thanks for coming in to Heather's Kitchen and thanks for joining us. Please don't forget our sponsors and don't forget to please say a prayer for Selena and uh, let's pray her healthy. We'll see you again soon, only on Heart of the Home. Thank you. Bye.